Hi, I'm Joel from Jonesy's Auto Restoration in Ridgefield, Washington, and I'm going to show you how to mix uh, automotive paint. So what we have here is we have a whole uh, assortment of different types of paint, and what I'm going to try to convey to you is that um, different brands of paint all mix in a very similar manner, and there are some uh, tips and tricks that you need to look out for so that you uh, mix them correctly. Because if you don't mix them correctly, then all kinds of really bad things can happen. The paint won't harden properly, um, it won't spray properly, it won't have the right viscosity to work in your gun, um, and you can just ruin it. It won't match uh, subsequent top coats that you need to put on it. So, one of the most common types of paint is a base coat, clear coat, and this is a base coat. And again, Depending on what brand of paint, they have a different uh, method for how to mix it. Sometimes it's mixed with uh, one type of thinner and a hardener on top of that. Sometimes it's mixed with just a reducer. And so what I'm going to try and convey to you today is how you figure out what needs to be added to the paint and what ratio needs to be mixed. And nine times out of ten, you can find that information directly on the side of the can. Um, this is, a, this is a, a very common paint, it's a PPG paint, and um, it tells you with a picture and then also a ratio of the two different types. This right here is a DBC, and that's the actual base coat, and the DT is a reducer. So it mixes one-to-one -one with color and the reducer. And so what you want to do is you want to get a paint cup that is specifically for um, mixing automotive paints. It won't deteriorate, it won't melt. And then on the sides of the cup, you'll see all of these different little legends. And so if I want to mix one to one, you find up here one to one on that paint cup. And then each one of these marks corresponds to the level at which you need to fill this cup. So you go up to the seven with the paint, and then you go to the next column over and you go up to the seven with the thinner. So it's one part of paint, one part of thinner. And you can see they have it already um, <clears throat> marked out for a whole bunch of different uh, ratios. 2 to 1, 1 to 1 1.5, 3 to 1, 4 to 1, 8 to 1. And then they also have gradients in milliliters, ounces, and just generic scale. This, is, this doesn't mean anything. So if you wanted to mix 1 to 1, you would go to five parts of paint, go to the five line, and then five more up to the 10 line with the thinner. Getting a little bit more complicated is this is a single stage paint. Um, and if you can zoom in on there, you can see that there's a whole bunch of different options for different products that you can mix. Um, DCC, that's this paint. A DT is a reducer. And then a DCX is the hardener. So they want this paint mixed four to two to one. So that means four parts of this paint, two parts of the reducer, and one part of the um, activator or hardener. So the way you would do that is you would want four parts of the one. So you go four of the paint, two parts of the reducer. So you'd go up to six with the reducer and one part of the hardener. So you'd go up to the seven. So it's four to two to one. So if you do your math and you think about these cups, you can pretty much mix any kind of paint. Um, here's clear coat. This one's very simple. Again, you always look at the side of the, of the can and it says it needs to be mixed two to one. So two parts of the clear coat with one part of the hardener. Again, you can find that directly on the side of the cup. You see find two to one. And then all of these different gradients correlate to two to one. So if you only need a little bit of clear coat, you'd put the clear coat up to the two mark. And then in the next column over, you'd find the two mark and you put the hardener till the level goes up to that. Um, again, here's a completely different brand, but on the side of the can, it tells you specifically how you're supposed to, uh, all the information you need. Now, if, Hypothetically, the paint mixing information is not on the can. Go to the manufacturer's website. And what I always keep at my paint uh, mixing station 
is a three ring binder and you can see this uh, we've used this a lot um, and inside I print off all of the different types of paint that I generally use including the primers um, all of their technical information so uh, DBC for example that was the first uh, base coat that I showed you where you mix it one to one well if you go to the manufacturer's website you can print off technical information specifically for DBC and they do a great job of outlining the different additives that you can use what type of tip you need to run for your gun um, all kinds of different things like the amount of time you need to spend between your coats so go check out the manufacturer's website and you can download and print off all this uh, technical information as well as safety information finally if you still are not sure after checking the website and checking the side of the can, call the paint company that, that sold you the paint. They should be able to provide you with all the information that you need, as well as all of the chemicals and all of the safety equipment that you need to mix and spray paint successfully.